Bengaluru to Mumbai, close to 1000 kilometers and 57 liters of diesel. Let's see if the Scorpio N sips it with a straw or gulps it down. So the 100 kilometer comes up. Uh, we've managed to get the average speed up to 52 kilometers per hour. Uh, we've got uh, Hubali coming up in the next 300 kilometers. Uh, talking about the condition of the road, uh, once you cross Tumkur, it's a beautiful highway to drive on. Uh, although we did find a couple of stretches under construction, but they last uh, maybe 500 meters at best. So let's have a look at the fuel economy. So the MID shows uh, 22.9 kilometers per liter and the range of 999 kilometers. Well, uh, let's see what the next 100 kilometer has in store for us. So the 200 kilometer comes up, uh, 3 hours 20 minutes, uh, we've managed to get the average speed up to 60 kilometers per hour, uh, while the fuel gauge has barely left the full mark, I am running in reserve and the priority right now is going to be find a restaurant and fill myself up. Talking about fuel efficiency, uh, we've come down to 22.3 kilometers to the liter. Uh, expect plenty of fluctuations as we've got plenty more kilometers to go. So we've reached Hubli, uh, we've used up what looks like uh, one fourth or a little more than one fourth tank of the fuel. Average speed uh, 64 kilometers per hour. Now we have a notorious 30 kilometer stretch ahead. Uh, so we'll be taking a break and the indicated fuel economy is 20.8 kilometers to the liter. We've covered about 408 kilometers so far 
in 6 hours 18 minutes and right now it's time for some chai. We were happy to see the toll gate on this stretch closed. A toll for this road was nothing but an extortion. We've reached Belagavi, uh, 516 kilometers, average speed 65 kilometers per hour. So we have crossed borders into Maharashtra, uh, the last 100 kilometers, possibly the worst uh, stretch of NH48 in Karnataka, uh, it's filled with diversions, potholes, bad roads, speed breakers, you name it. Uh, as you can see the average speed has come down to 63 kilometers per hour and our fuel consumption 19.5 kilometers to the liter we've got Pune coming up in probably 250 to 280 kilometers and then it's Mumbai It's not that the NH48 in Maharashtra is construction free. There is a good level of construction going on and it stretches all the way till Satara. expressway towards Mumbai. And we have crossed the 950 kilometer mark taken us 15 driving hours average speed being 63 kilometers per hour we've got few more kilometers to go uh, looks like we will be hitting a reserve in some time so let's see when that happens we wanted to drive on the Atal Trans Harbor link so followed the signboard that said Mumbai via Atal Setu and we were disturbed to see that the road that leads to a much hyped engineering marvel in the country gave us a dump yard welcome
Finally, the Atal Trans Harbour Link. We were very impressed with the fast tag reading at the toll gate. Wish they could implement this at all the toll gates in the country. And we have reached Mumbai. 1010 kilometers of drive took us about 16 hours at an average speed of 62 kilometers per hour. Let's have a look at the fuel consumption. Nineteen point three kilometers to the liter. The best part is we have still not hit reserve. Well, by the look of it it's any kilometer now so let's head to a fuel station fill it up and check the actual fuel consumption So the tank to tank method gave us a figure of 18.99 km per litre and the MID display 19.4. Hope you've enjoyed this travelogue from Bengaluru to Mumbai. That's it from my side and I'll see you on the next one.